Howdy folks, good evening, new time travel behind me 88 here, welcome back to my channel, it is time once again for another VHS comparison. This week on my channel, I am going to take a look at two different versions of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade on VHS, which you see, I had two copies of it. On the left, I have the original 1989 VHS. And on the right, I have the 1999 VHS in THX widescreen. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, one of my brother's favorite um, films of the Indiana Jones series. My mom loves The Last Crusade. So does my middle school teacher, Miss Karen. She also likes The Last Crusade because it has um, Sean Connery from the James Bond series. And before we dive into this, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the Cinematic Otaku. The Cinematic Otaku, if you're watching this, your videos are excellent. Keep up the good work. Make sure you check out his channel on YouTube. I'll leave the link in the description down below. All right, without further ado, let's get down to business, shall we? All right, starting off with the original 1989 pressing of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. This video came out on November 9th, 1989. I really like this artwork by Drew Jusen. Here's um, Sulla, Marcus Brody. There's Dr. Elsa Snyder. And the evil uh, Nazi captain. And then you have Harrison Ford with riding the horse with the biplanes and other um, uh, cars in the background. And there's the army tank. This is one of the best artworks Drew Drew Sand did. I really love it. All right. And if you look right there, it's. Let me zoom in. It's the Paramount logo. Focus. There we go. Let's take a look. Another spine. There's the Paramount logo. The background is all spine. Here's the top. Rated PG-13 and it's 126 minutes. And let's take a look. Here's the back. Okay. If you want to, you can read the description. You can pause the video. Here's Indy and his father being tied up, and there's a fire. And here's the Harrison, Dr. Indiana Jones and Elsa Snyder with the tombstone. There's a Legalese, 1989. There's a Paramount Sealed logo. All right. Here's the sticker label. Here's the end label for The Last Crusade. Uh, let's take a look here. The 52nd week of 1989. If the camera can focus here, focus. Uh, it doesn't want to focus here, but that's all right. We've got the barcode right there. Can we focus again, camera? Yep, I can tell 52nd week of 1989. Yeah. Oh, well, it doesn't want to focus here, but it's the, uh, yep, there we go. All right, and there's the barcode. Now let's move on to the 1999 THX of The Last Crusade in widescreen. This time the artwork is zoomed up and there's the word Indiana Jones of The Last Crusade is on the bottom instead of on the top. And The Last Crusade letterings is in white instead of the gold, the usual gold. They kept and the last and dub in black lettering. Widescreen, digitally mastered, THX with superior sound and picture quality. Chapter 25 and the Complete Adventures of Indiana Jones. There's the Lucasfilm, THX, and the Paramount Viacom logo. 
Let's take a look. Bonus interviews, including interviews with George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, and Harrison Ford. Princeton, Venice, and the Holy Land, 1938. If you want to read, you can pause the video. All right. Starting around 1999 or so, you know, uh, Lucasfilm digitally remastered The Last Crusade. And I know um, a lot of people is not fond of the digitally mastering. They preferred the ones that was used back in 89 with the 35 millimeter and whatnot. There is the Lucas Indiana Jones website and the Paramount Home Video website. All right. Sticker label. Tape number is 59. Printed in the 41st week of 1999, and there's the barcode. Okay. Now, let me tell you what these two tapes opens up. We'll start with this copy. The original 1989 VHS of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It begins with a Diet Coke commercial, followed by a Paramount, a Paramount Communication feature presentation logo from 1989 with the announcer Brian Cummings says, and now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. The warning screen in blue and purple background, the 1954 a Paramount picture logo, with the Gulf Western byline, the Indiana Jones of the Last Crusade variant, and started a movie. At the end, it has the videotape 1988 Paramount of Gulf Western Company and the widescreen of death. Perfect. Now, on the 1995 VHS reprint of Indiana Jones The Last Crusade, which I used to have the 1998 reprint. It has the Paramount of Viacom Company feature presentation logo. Then at the end, it's got the Paramount Blue Mountain logo at the end. Surprisingly. Now, on the 1999 VHS of the Indiana Jones of the Last Crusade, it has a trailer for The Complete Adventures of Indiana Jones. Then it's got Stay Tuned for the Exclusive Interviews Bumper. The 1995 Paramount of Viacom Company feature presentation logo with announcer Brian Cummings says, And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. The warning screen, the THX logo, the 19... 19- 54, a Paramount picture logo with the Gulf Western byline and widescreen. The Last Crusade variant and start of the movie. But at the end, it has the 1975 Paramount picture logo with the Blue Mountain on there. It appears to me, rumors has that has the theatrical print has the Paramount logo at the end. But it, appear, it turns out the Paramount Blue Mountain logo appears at the end. Then it's got now available on video cassette screen. It shows a trailer of the adventures of young Indiana Jones with announcer John Leader. Then it's got the bonus interview featurette of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Now keep in mind, all three Indiana Jones on the widescreen VHS has the complete adventures of Indiana Jones voiced by Don Lon Fontaine. While the young Indiana Jones commercial at the end is voiced by John Leader. All right. Well, that's it from here. Oh, I forgot to mention. I do know there is a 1991 VHS of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, which does have the young Indiana Jones trailer at the beginning. I mean, commercial. And there is a Super VHS from 1999 in widescreen, which does have the Paramount Picture videotape variant at the end, which is the Gulf Western byline. I believe it's the same sources that appear on the Laserdisc release. 
The 91 VHS of The Last Crusade has the Paramount Communication logo at the end. So, yeah. There is a, um, another copy of the 1990 VHS that does not have the Diet Coke commercial. And there is a, a screener copy of The Last Crusade that does not have the um the Paramount logo at the end. Actually, it's the digital DVS video, of The Last Crusade. I know Tyler Tristar 2 Spack has the DVS copy of that. Okay, so there you have it. That's it for this week's VHS comparison. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye for now.